Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and in today's video of Linux Basics in 3 minutes, we'll check out 3 important network monitoring tools that you can use to monitor network related activities on your computer. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, first is the speedometer tool. Now this gives you a graphical representation of your network speed. You can see your network up and downstream or RX and TX speed, which essentially gives you speed at which data coming in or going out from your computer. Now to use speedometer, type speedometer dash R, which is the receiving interface on which your internet is working and then give a space dash T transmitting interface, which again is the same. Now press enter and now you can see the RX and TX speed in a graphical representation, which is pretty handy if you want a quick glance or snapshot of your network performance over time. Next and probably one of the most popular one is iftop or iftop. To use iftop, type in sudo space iftop and enter your administrator or root password. Now this screen gives you a real time information about all the incoming and outgoing network traffic on your computer. Now the first column shows the source address and the second column shows the destination address and the three columns on the right shows the data sent in 2 seconds, 10 seconds and 40 seconds respectively. Now there are few options available with iftop. Now pressing the H key takes you to the help menu which shows all the options available. Now let me quickly show you a few options here. Now the T key is used to toggle between the following display modes. Single line per host, receive traffic only, sent traffic only and the default two line per host. Similarly, we can toggle between show or hide source or destination address by pressing the lowercase s or d key respectively and show or hide source or destination ports by pressing the uppercase S or D key respectively. And the last tool for today is the SS or socket statistics tool, which is similar to netstat, but a lot simpler and faster. Now typing SS alone in the terminal gives you a lot of information, which is pretty hard to comprehend. So I recommend using the following option with SS for more easy to understand output. Now SS space dash L gives you list of all listening sockets. Now SS-T gives you list of all the TCP connection which is currently established. Similarly SS-U gives the UDP connection and SS-X gives the Unix connection. One more useful option is SS space DST for destination and give a space and then give an IP address or a domain name. Now this will show you information about how a particular IP address is connected to your computer which is pretty handy if you are investigating a specific IP address. Alright, so that was all for today. Uh, I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video and want more such videos, please subscribe to my channel XPS Tech. Thank you again and I'll see you next time.